Hello friends, this is Veronica and you know what time it is. It's cafecito time and today I'm finally getting to the new world exploration coffees from Nespresso. So make sure you stick around and don't forget to subscribe. Hello friends, this is Veronica from House of Sid. Um, I make videos about coffee reviews, coffee recipes, coffee adventures, and everything from the wonderful world of coffee. And today I'm finally getting to this video. Um, some of you have asked about it and some of you have mentioned this coffee. Today we are going to taste, test, um, and review World Explorations Nespresso Istanbul Espresso. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Istanbul Nespresso. So this is a new coffee for Nespresso. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if it's brand new as in the first time they're releasing it or just new for the season. Sorry, excuse my kitchen. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's new to me, so I'm going to try it. Um, I have pretty much tried most of the world's exploration for the original line except Istanbul and Rio de Janeiro which we're also going to taste test. So welcome to my channel like I said um, and if you're new here a welcome thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe I'm so like excited to see all these new people subscribing um, leave me a message if you're new let me know if you have a um, original machine or a virtual machine and yes I still have a Keurig here because occasionally we use it for other things uh, no judgment please uh, but anyways let's get into the review about the Istanbul world um, explorations coffee okay let's see what it has to say um, it is uh, recommended as a ristretto or espresso there we go and it is an eight intensity. Um, let's see what it says. A world explorations Istanbul espresso takes you back in time to the original coffee houses. This intense ambrosial brew bursts with boldness. Ambrosial brew bursts with boldness. Okay, that was another mouthful too. <laughs> Wild ripe fruits and a delicate almond touch. Ooh, okay, that sounds interesting. Thick and velvety in homage to Turkish coffee. It's Ethiopian Arab Arabica and Indian Robusta reminds us of the city at the crossroads of the ancient coffee trade routes. Beautiful. It's a blend as cosmopolitan as the crowd gathered in an Istanbul... In Try that again, take two. It's a blend as cosmopolitan as the crowd gathered in an Istanbul coffee house. Enjoy like a local, okay? Accompany, accompany it with a glass of water and a piece of Turkish delight. Okay, I don't have Turkish delight, so we're just gonna try this um, as is, as an espresso. And then I've been kind of craving like an ice, like a yummy iced coffee, so we're going to try and concoct. We're going to try and speak properly today. We're going to try and concoct a iced coffee with the Istanbul. So why not? You know, let's have some fun. Okay, let's open it up. Um, little nice pattern there. Um, the price of this one is, I will put it up on the screen because I don't have my information with me. Okay, so it is a nice yellowy color there Ugh. okay kind of matches the box as you can see let's make a shot let's make a shot of Istanbul espresso okay I do have um, the Rio de Janeiro which I will make another video so make sure you stick around and you watch and if you haven't watched my videos that I did on the H um, Sumatra and Papua New Guinea, make sure you go back and check those out. Okay, woo. Oh, 
Okay. Wild ripe fruits and a delicate almond touch. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Pretty thick, it's a intensity eight, kind of dark. Okay, let's try it. Let's give it a taste. Whoa. This is bold. And I don't know why, I don't know why, but I've noticed my machine lately, some coffees have been coming out hotter and some not as hot. So I don't know, um, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. Let me know if you guys have had any issues with the heat, either too hot or not hot enough on your machines. Okay, ooh, that is pretty, pretty good. For you bold, strong, intense coffee lovers, you're gonna like this. Ooh. I don't get like a fruity, fruity flavor from it. Maybe, not really almond, because I had like the almond coffees from the holiday flavors, but kind of like um, nuttiness to it. So it is a little on the nutty side, I would say. Not like super nutty, but like a little bit of like a um, nutty kind of roasty. I don't know, guys. Sometimes I'm like, do I even make sense? Let me know, let me know if my uh, descriptions even make any sense to you. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I like it though. I like it definitely bold. Um, so let's see if we could come up with a iced coffee drink because it's summertime. Happy summer. We're officially in summer here in the US. Um, and also let me know where you guys are watching from because I know sometimes I'm like talking about it. it's so hot here but it might not be so hot where you're from. But yes let's make an ice drink. Okay so this is the idea I had. I'm going to add some um if you guys like flavored syrups and sauces make sure you go to stores like home goods marshall's tj maxx ross because i've been finding some yummy things there i bought this a little bit uh, a couple months ago but it is a chocolate hazelnut flavored tarani pyramid sauce and this stuff is really good and you do not have to refrigerate it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some all over my cup and at the bottom. Okay, there you go. One more little squirt just for fun. I'm going to um, add some ice. I'm going to add some vanilla almond milk. So this is chocolate and hazelnut. So I thought with a little bit of like the almondy nuttiness of the Okay, this is so delicious. Almond milk or milk of choice. Some of the Tarani chocolate hazelnut syrup mixed in. Two shots of Istanbul espresso. Oh my God, this is so good. The dark intensity of the coffee with the chocolate hazelnut um, really pairs so good. Oh my God, this is delicious. You guys have to try this. Wow, I'm very, I'm like really impressed. I haven't had a really good um, homemade iced latte in a while. I actually haven't really been making them, but this is delicious. You guys need to try this. I'm really enjoying this Istanbul 
espresso. I think it's only about $8. I'll, I'll put the price on the screen, but definitely a must try. Definitely, I'm going to buy some more. Wow, this is so good. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Have you guys bought this? Have you tried it? Let me know if you have a favorite recipe that you um, are using this for. Or just, you know, let's just chat cafecito in the comments. Hope you guys are having a fabulous start to your summer. And make sure you have subscribed to... Uh, my channel, I post videos on Wednesdays and Sundays, 10 a.m. And I really want to do um, a live stream so we could have our little cafecito chat. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a live stream so I could figure out the best time, the best day. I'm thinking maybe uh, Thursday or Friday evening. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thanks for watching, everyone, um, and I hope you're enjoying your cafecito, and we'll see you later. Bye. Mm. This is like one of the best ice lattes I have made in a very long time. Mm. So good, so good.